Hello everyone and welcome to a new series of lessons on Python aimed especially at beginners and if you are completely new to programming Python is an excellent choice for a language to learn. I hope that even if you've got a bit of programming experience then you'll still enjoy following along but there's only one way to find out. Now, installation of Python, I am going to say is optional because of a new website I've recently discovered. Well, I don't know if it's new to be fair, but I've just discovered it. So I'll still show you that in a moment. I would still recommend installing Python uh, because that will allow you to run your programs through your computer's terminal or command prompt and that's what I'll be doing in these lessons. Now if you have a Mac it will have probably come pre-installed with Python 2. We will be using Python 3 in these lessons so you may want to do the installation. Now what I'm going to do is just go to python.org, that's the main um, website for Python, and there's a download section, and this is the latest version of Python, so that's downloaded, so I'm just going to run this file. Now, I've got an older version of Python, so I'm just going to install over the top. Now on Windows, this is crucial, you have to tick this box, add Python to path, because that's what's going to allow you to run your programs through the command prompt. So click that and then I would just say install now, happy with all the default settings. Right, so that's going to do the installation, which might take a couple of minutes or so. So whilst it's doing that, let me show you this website I mentioned. It's called REPL, that's R-E-P-L, in computing. That stands for Read, Evaluate, Print, Loop. But don't worry about that, certainly for the moment. Now, on the website, big invitation to sign up. Now, I would recommend signing up. There is a completely free plan available. But you don't have to do that. If you scroll down the bottom, you can click on, there's a lot of languages, but we want Python. So you can click on that and it's going to open up the main page. Now I'll talk about that in a minute. Well, I'll talk about it now actually, because that's still installing. Now, this big bit in the middle of the screen is where you can write your code. And this bit on the right hand side of the screen is where you'll see your output. Um, don't need to worry about anything else for the moment. Let me just run the program I was going to run in the terminal after the language is installed. But I've got nothing else to do in the meantime. Hello Word. That's a variation of the famous Hello World, which is what I was trying to type. And I like to put an exclamation mark there. Now, this will pretty much save things as you go along. So you see a message there, saved. If you want to run your program, um, fairly logically, you click on this big green run button. And you see we get our output there on the right hand side. Right, so Python has been successfully installed, which is fantastic news. So I'm just going to close that down. Now, the way that I run Python is I actually have a command prompt, or it's actually a terminal emulator, which allows me to run commands that by default only run on Mac and Linux here. But you can just use the bog standard Windows command prompt. If you don't know how to get into that, you can come down here and just type CMD. And there's your command prompt. But I'm going to use this commander program because I do much prefer it here. So all you need to do to get into what's called actually a Python REPL, 
or Python shell is type Python. Now on a Mac, you'll want to type Python 3. I mentioned that Python 2 comes by default. So if you just type Python, I'm going to take you into Python 2 and that doesn't work in exactly the same way. So um, now that we're in this Python shell, I was going to save the hello world for here. I've kind of spoiled the magic a little bit, but never mind. Voila, there we have our hello world program. Um, so that's really all I wanted to do in this first video. So, like I say, I'd recommend installing Python, but you certainly don't have to do it. You're more than welcome to just use this REPL.IT website and run your programs online. I'll let you know further on in the course if there's anything that isn't going to work in here, but we can certainly get a long way in the language just using this website. So thanks for watching and I hope you'll join in for the second episode. Goodbye.